Good morning, everyone. Today I'm comparing Canon EOS R5 with Canon EOS R. I will be shooting video with both cameras using Canon RF 72-200 f2.8 IS lens at 200 millimeter focal distance. And I will be testing cameras at 2K, 4K, and 8K resolution respectively and uh, compare the image quality between two cameras where it's appropriate and also between various modes for Canon EOS R5 since it's relatively new camera. I've chosen this urban landscape for this test because I wanted to be able to zoom in to see how camera sensors resolve well recognizable and moving objects and to evaluate the noise level. You can see the blue markers on the slope next to the lake. Use them for comparing the resolving power of cameras in respective modes. Each shot is zoomed after 3 seconds by 300%. The intersection you are seeing is about 4 miles away. As a result, some thermal movement of the air affects the image as well. All shots are taken in C-Log profile. 8K RAW grades very differently than an all-I or an IPB codecs. I had difficult time matching them to RAW capture. All shots were taken with Canon RF 72-200mm f2.8 IS lens at 200 millimeters or at 111 millimeters for the 4K shots on Canon ESR. All clips, with the exception of 8K RAW, are developed and graded exactly the same. There were some variations in the exposure as it was early morning and the light was changing quickly. The IS was off, focused in manual and fixed for all shots. ISO varied between 400 and 800, 100 degree shutter speed, and exposure between f3.2 and f5. Cameras were on a tripod and no noise reduction was performed. I was surprised to see such a big difference between 8K and 4K footage, especially between 8K RAW and the rest of the shots. Even highly prized 4K HQ mode at 24 frames per second was not that impressive when comparing to 8K All-I or even 8K IPB at 24 frames per second. Since it is difficult to zoom, pan, or do any handheld camera movement with mirrorless cameras, I did this test to evaluate the quality of punched-in image. Though 300% magnification in post is quite extreme for any camera or sensor. While Canon R has 50% fewer photosites, it performed relatively well in comparison to R5 at the same settings. It appears, however, that Canon did improve the signal-to-noise ratio, probably with a better image processing and using 10-bit color capture. The R5 camera cannot be set to shoot at 8-bit in any mode, so this may have attributed to R5's advantage at 2K resolution. Well, great. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, but most importantly, comment and let me know what you think about the performance of both cameras, and I look forward to your comments.